Hey everybody, welcome back. Uh, this week we're going to do a quick video about the Analog Way Midra software. Not the current Midra platform, we're going to go old school and I'm going to show you how to connect Companion and the original RCS to the old Midra platform. Let's take a look. Basically we have four pieces of software that we need to get in order to do this. And we really have a fifth, but I believe it's going to be already zipped in with some of the other stuff. So first thing uh, we have to do, and this is brand new downloads. I'm starting from the very beginning. So if you've never installed Companion, if you've never used it at all, you're in a good place. We're going to start here. First thing we're going to do is you have to go to bitfocus.io. Uh, you do have to log in because uh, you can see my you do have to log in uh, before you can download anything but it's simple as download what system you're going to download for and it pops up and we can move on second thing you need is the actual Elgato Stream Deck software same thing you don't have to sign up for anything it'll actually read what, what um, OS you're using so those are the first two um, we're just going to download everything, and then we're going to install everything. All right, so I'm in the archived area of Analog Way. Um, as you can tell, archived. And I'm going to be looking for the Analog Way gateway. There we go. And we're just going to come down here and set up application. We're going to download for Windows. And there we go. So here's where it gets a little bit tricky. Um, I'm doing this for a quick view I want the I don't want firmware I want the remote control software so here's the thing the RCS is embedded in a Adobe Air program so yes we need to click on this and we need to download it but we also need to download this Harman Air runtime otherwise it's never going to install they went with this for a hot second which was great, but then Adobe stopped supporting Adobe Air. You cannot download it from Adobe. So I'm really happy that in a long way keeps a download of it here. So we've got one, two, three, four, five things downloaded. We're going to get out of here, go to our downloads, and no particular order other than you have to install Air before you install the software so we'll just start at the top we're going to fast forward through some of this okay so at this point we have when I close this, we have our companion app, we have our Stream Deck app, we have our remote control software, and we have our analog gateway. As with pretty much anything with companion, the first thing we need to do is check our IP settings. So let me... All right, so I'm going to have to manually input this, and I'm just making it basically the same as the switcher itself device address is 192.168.2.140 which is the default so i want to make this something similar so we're going to open up our analog way gateway so what I want it to do is I want it to look for something or look for the device on the network. That is the IP address I just said. So I want it to connect. It shows connected and it shows five, zero of five potential devices are connected. So I'm just going to pop this over here right now. Next, I'm going to go ahead and open up my control software. All right, and this is where I spent a lot of time getting this wrong. So this is the device of the actual this is the address of the actual device. Well, I've launched my gateway, but I'm not going to connect to the device. I'm going to connect to the gateway. 
So I'm actually going to type in either this address or this address or this address. So let's do the address. And the 1270.0 is just a local host address. So we're going to try that one first. We're going to hit connect. And once these start moving, you know you're connecting. And also notice this change, it now says one of five. So I am connected. I don't have that many inputs in right now, so it's not, but this is, this is my analog way. So what I can do here, and as you can see, I already have five of them made. Let's full size this so we can see it a little bit better. So I'm going to click on my input one, two, three, four, five. Very simple. So, but I want to control this with a stream deck. So I'm going to open companion. And as you can tell, this is a new, all of these are newly installed, which is why I keep giving it permissions. All right. So if you've never used companion before, this is where we add new connections. So I can either thumb through this until I get to analog way. And for example, these are all my, all the analog way options, live core, live premiere, Midra, Midra 4k, um, Aquians, any of that. So, or I could just search and it filters everything out for me. So I'm actually using, I have two choices. I can actually just do analog way Midra or I can do analog way quick view and I'll do the quick view for this time. So once we click on it to add it, we can give it a new name. Quick view. And we're going to type in the address again. And again, we're going to do a local host. We're going to click, I like clicking away, clicking back, because it should say OK. It should give us an OK warning. But we're going to make a button real quick to make sure. So we're going to make a regular button. And we're going to call it PC1. And I'm going to come down here for press actions. And... I can, because they've updated this, I can just click browse everything for my quick view. I want to load a memory. And notice once I do that, all of this stuff comes in. So yeah, I want to load memory one onto screen one into preview. And these are all my other, other options. So that's absolutely what I want to do. And then I want to come down here one, two, three, four, five, I'm not here. I had a regular button. Browse. I'm going to do the quick view. I'm going to take a single screen. I'm going to add, oop, I added it twice. So I want to delete one of them. Okay, so, and I'm going to take screen one. So, so I have my Stream Deck plugged in. I want to scan it. And it sees it. So I'm going to minimize this and we're going to see if this is working. So I'm going to press PC1. It is not. Okay. So I'm going to go back to companion. I'm going to go back to my connections. Disable. Enable. Also, I want to look at this. It shows I have two, two different things connected. Oh, see, never mind. So I disabled it and re-abled it, and now I get a status OK. So now I'm going to bring up the RCS. I press my PC1 button, and I press my take button, and there we go. I have control. So it's a very sim simple process. Um, I had the hardest time because I never actually read the flyer where it said to type in one of these three addresses. I just kept constantly kept trying to type in the actual IP address of the machine. So if you've been doing that, stop doing that, 
type in what it tells you to type in and you'll be good you can also set this if this is going on a machine that's only ever going to run this you can have it automatically start when you start your computer and you can have it minimized so but the biggest thing is to always um, launch companion and then do a couple test buttons before show so you know you have connectivity and then go from there.